The Young Progressives Party believes if elections are credible, free and fair, Nigerians will elect only leaders that will raise the bar of governance. Members of the party are also optimistic the party will win major elective positions at the 2023 general election. A political gathering of the Young Progressives Party. Something that cannot be untaught. A new entrant into the political space with his hat already thrown into the ring for the contest of the office of the president. He says Nigeria can be salvaged, but only by qualified and competent leaders. We have greatness within us, and we're just letting things happen. Things don't just happen. Things fall apart, as we know, we've read that. Things don't just happen. If you do not sow, you cannot reap. Do not expect that if you leave that void, excellence will shine. Mediocrity will rule. This unveiling by the Young Progressives Party is also an indication of their readiness to make a strong appearance at the polls. To win majority votes, they must first convince Nigerians that they have what it takes to fix the economy, fight insecurity and improve lives and well-being. The establishment has failed us woefully. Nobody should be left behind. No woman, no child, no adult, no Christian, no Muslim, no Northerner, no Southerner, and nobody from the Middle Belt like myself. But it's important that we try to find a uniter in chief. Somebody who loves this country, who's not going to ask you, <coughs> excuse me, where are you from? But he's going to ask you, what is the content of your heart? What do you bring to the table? His political party, the Young Progressives Party, may not have been a strong contender at the polls, but it has survived several elections and has also survived the defection of its former presidential candidate, Kinsley Mogalu. Officials of the party believe Nigerians are fed up with the old order and will elect a credible alternative that will be at the helm of governance in the next democratic administration. Nigerians really need a reset of leadership because all the things we are going through today in our country is a result of leadership failure. And I, I can tell you that once leadership is fixed, every other thing is possible. Politicking is already getting intense. Political parties are also strategizing. Politicians are realigning. But for now, the party has its eyes fixed on the Anambra state governorship election, with their candidate considered as a front runner in the poll. A win for the YPP may brighten their chances in the next general election.